Hey beautiful, how you doing? My name is Miss Shelley. I hope all is well with you. Thank you so much for joining me here at Just Be Tarot, Aquarius. Let's get right into your reading. In the pre-shuffle, I saw the Two of Cups, which is like the Two of Roses. And I also saw the Five of Keys, which is wishes being fulfilled. It's like a plethora of different wishes being fulfilled so you could literally be going on a trip you could be invited somewhere to someone's party to a brunch to a dinner to a birthday an anniversary some of you you could be going on a cruise because there's like this buffet kind of style in the five of keys it's like all of the things that you would want all of the things that would grant you wish fulfillment just laid out for you okay <laughs> so someone may be very very considerate and they may be setting up dinner brunch you know something beautiful for you on a first date second date or some kind of date <laughs> okay um for others of you you may be treating yourself, like I mentioned, you could be traveling, treating yourself on vacation, and you have a plethora of different things that you're going to be doing that make you extremely happy. So those were the cards that came out before this, but now we have the Six of Forces, the Waterfall, we have Divine Physician. And we have Archangel Gabrielle. Well, Gabrielle is definitely here to help you receive what you've been wanting. There's this energy here with the Six of Horses, this waterfall. This could be about someone else. It doesn't have to be about you. I see um, water signs, of course. Someone is graduating or... Someone is being ordained, like they're becoming a physician, a nurse, a healer, a practitioner. Um, we definitely see these two sixes here as well, but it looks like someone is being asked to raise their hand, um, to be sworn in or ordain ordained in a particular field. So somebody may definitely be going for um, a, a degree, a certification, or higher learning of some sort. They may be being sworn in as a witness as well with Archangel Gabrielle here. It is like someone is being called upon. It's like the Archangel Gabrielle is the, the prophecy, right? The one who prophesizes into um, your life, okay? just like this archangel did in the Bible. But also, this is a high-level, high-ranking angel who brings forth prosperity, communication, new beginnings. Um, yeah, um, communication, all right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So you may have spoke to this uh, angel and the angel is ready to help you move forward, okay? Let's see. Let's see what we have here, Aquarius. A six of forces waterfall. A towering waterfall roars down into a beautiful body of water. In the upright position, this card reminds you of your incredible personal power and supports you in opening up to the forces within you. 
know that you are a dynamic in the uh, universe. You have the ability to shape any situation in a way that honors you and moves your life forward. The element of water is fluid like the waterfall. Your personal energy never stops. Your life force is never ending. A spring from the eternal past and roars into your limitless future, extending into the furthest reaches of the universe. It is a time of deep thought, Aquarius, and even deeper emotions, as well as an expansion of psychic energy. Use this time to act on these and tap your powers that is ever flowing. Okay, so when we look at water, right? We look at emotions. Um, because that's what I, you know, was hearing. It's like we automatically think of the water as emotions. We're being asked to see this in a different way. The body of water, one of the most powerful elements. Have you ever been on a cruise in a canoe, um, kayaking or jet skiing or swimming in an actual like beach, the ocean? Um, we are reminded of very how small we are when we get in the ocean, right? Like deeper than we could even imagine. And it extends from all. Um, you know, from all parts of the world, the waters are connected. What Spirit is saying is that you have that dynamic. You have that huge force within you, you know, regarding your psychic abilities, your talents and your skill set. But also you have the power to move things. Okay, Aquarius, you do. You have the power to like the book says, your power is limitless, okay? And they're talking about something from the past because it's like the water goes this way and then that way and then this way and then that way, that ebb and flow. It's like something from the past washes up and mixes into the future. But, you know, it's all scrambled up. You can't specifically pick it out, you know, flick it like a speck. You can't do that. It's a part of you. Okay? And so I feel there's something about um, looking to the back or looking to the past and moving to the future. Spirit is asking you to utilize this time. Okay? To, I guess, tap into your, your powers. Um, these are all of the major arcanas in this deck, okay? In the Akashic Tarot deck, which is powerful, Aquarius, okay? This is where your power, or what you are humanly capable of doing, free will, of course, but you can actually tap into this force that you have within you. Again, your intuition you know, looking back to look into the future, okay? Spreading your eye, your heart, this matter, this force, far and wide. You can go as deep as you want. Like it's, yeah, very powerful. These, however, are outside forces, okay? Um, yeah, all right, let's see. The divine physician stands before a well carrying a jug of healing water and sharing his light of healing with those nearby. He made 
the morally wounded rise again through his incantations of sacred words. The powerful eternal healing spirit walks with you at this time. Ooh, okay. This card indicates that you are moving into a time of magnificent healing on many, many levels. There's a person who can be a great healer for you as well as a teacher who shares healing. That shares healing gifts that you can pass on to others. If you don't know this person yet, keep your eyes open. He or she is coming. You may find yourself being called to help others at this time. Remember that word and thought, belief and feeling are key components in healing the self and in teaching others to heal. Know that the light of healing shines around you and through you. Such a radiant joy can bring well-being to all. As I mentioned, there is this kind of underlining uh, element here, Aquarius, where this may be a time for you to do a deep dive, okay? And it doesn't mean that you haven't already healed and that you haven't worked on anything, but it's a consistent Thing as we, you know, go through this earth school, as we continue to move towards Pluto going direct in Aquarius, especially with it being the age of Aquarius and Pluto, you know, and the significance of um, Pluto showing up and staying around <laughs> the end of the year, okay, for like two decades or something like that. It's like we're in Pluto retrograde. And so I just feel energetically for those who are following me here, that we're being given the opportunity to do some deep diving in regards to, um, you know, residue stuff. Um, you know, it's like, we're always healing, we're always growing, we're always checking ourselves and things like that. It's like, this earth school is a constant, I don't want to say it's a constant test, but it is a constant reminder that we are continuously growing. And sometimes we will double back. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's how they try to explain the retrogades of the planets. If they double back, why wouldn't we? And it's not that the planets literally move backwards. We're not going to be moving backwards, but we will be able to see um, you know, that 2020 hindsight kind of energy, okay? And in doing so, we'll, we'll see things that we overlooked the first time or we'll, you know, get a clearer understanding or something like that. And so I do feel that this that's what this forces is about. It's not to be afraid. It's not to be, you know, anxious and anxiety and all of the emotions that we, like, yeah, looking at all of these emotions as an Aquarius, all this water, it's kind of triggering by itself. It's like, what? <laughs> okay, it's like, nah, man, I've already been there, done that. I ain't doing that no more, okay? But Spirit is saying that this is like a great opportunity to do so because you have, um, this is like the angel, okay? This is like Jesus energy. Um, it's like... It's a prophet, okay? They're coming to you, Aquarius, <laughs> and they're saying, you know, what do you need help with um, overcoming, transforming? What do you need help doing with? Because this is the healer. They have the jug of like the water that's right here that flows and it's so powerful if you're able to heal this, whatever it is. OK, it's between you and your guides. All right. But I see this energy here that not only that, you're being told that you have the power to guide others and to heal others and to even teach others how to heal themselves and others. And so it keeps going and going and going like a collective 
um, energy, right? And that's what Aquarius is supposed to be doing. <laughs> We're supposed to be taking to help um, lead the collective consciousness to a better place where we are able to um, be independent and not codependent, where we are able to have that, um, you know, uh, freedom, liberation, healed though, love, you know, one love and, and, and uh, that's the energy. Okay. Um, read on it, look it up. There's a whole lot more that I left out. But what I'm saying is, remember I said it looks like somebody's being ordained or they are being sworn in or something like that. <laughs> it looks like, you know, of course, divine feminine energy, right? Because the divine feminine energy, male or female, is all about nurturing, growing, you know, pouring into, healing, being um, a figure that um, embraces others just like a mother would their child. And so it looks as though uh, someone is being um, helped in that way um, or someone's prayer is being answered with Archangel Gabriel. Again, this is the prophecy Okay, the angel of prophecy. And it's also all about communication, like being called up, <laughs> being called to do something. Okay, um, you know, having a second chance at getting something done. Okay, um, yes. And with the number three here, that is, you know, I'll help you out. What do you need? Right. Um, I'll give you a leg up. I'll give you some help here. But Archangel Gabriel also provides prosperity and new beginnings, okay? So let's keep that in mind. Um, let's read the cards here. 663, 636, 366. These numbers are very significant. There's something very significant and synch synchronistic about this. Okay. Archangel Gabriel. Gabriel is the divine messenger of the Archangel of Communication. When this card appears upright, it indicates a profound connection with this wonderful presence. Your power of expression is on the rise now. You will have an easier time communicating with others, expressing your feelings, and even working on projects involving communication, such as publishing, counseling, teaching, mediumship, journalism, marketing, radio, television, you know, social medias, right? Uh, platforms. Now is the time for any of these endeavors but no matter what you do, remember the power of words. Call on Gabrielle to inspire you and let yourself sing out. Some of you, yeah, this beautiful voice, your voice is healing, okay? You could have um, a beautiful singing voice or you could have one of those voices that just makes everything feel better, okay? Is what I'm getting. Like you get compliments about your voice. But yes. Wow. This is really, really good energy here. Um, let's see. So it looks like um, you could be healing with herbs. Okay. Herbs, spices. Somebody knows something about cinnamon. They know about lavender. They know about relaxation um, tools. An herbalist is what I'm getting. 
someone you know knows and respects the earth okay when it comes to certain flowers and leaves and herbs and spices and things like that is what i feel i also feel the energy that somebody has um a lot of water in their chart or um there's a connection to water somehow i feel that spirit literally wants you to fall into the water like immerse yourself into the water um and i know that some have a fear of water okay i used to be afraid to um swim but i love the water so i learned how to doggy paddle and then i learned how to float and then i learned how to swim a little better but it took you know it took a long 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 time okay um but i feel that spirit wants you to embody the water aspect the water element because for like a lot of people okay even if we know what the our powers are we have no clue how much more powerful they are okay um and it does not have to be anything more than your words and how they impact people's souls how they impact people okay in a positive or a negative way the power of our words how it impacts ourselves in a powerful positive or negative way the power of thought the power of the words there's something about that here okay with the number three it does talk about the third house communication um and yeah. Okay, yep, King of Cups. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So the sixth house is Virgo energy, right? It's service. Okay, and you have two sixes, which I love sixes because in the tarot, all the sixes are very positive and high vibrational cards when we look at them, you know, from a spiritual aspect. All right. Spirit God switch, you're part of the sixes. You're the six of swords. Okay. The six of swords is definitely in water, right? It's the boat in water. Okay. So you're being guided here. Oh, with the king of cups. Emotionally mature person, someone who literally um, doesn't only look at the surface, but looks at what's happening underneath it all. It's like still waters run deep, okay? And look at this King of Cups is literally offering up water, okay? Remember that jug of water? Yeah. Oh, boy. Can we get more? Do you see this King of Cups eyes? This is somebody who knows. Um, they are instinctually um, knowledgeable about the power of the water. Okay, this is like Scorpio. Okay, transformative energy, but... It could be any water sign. Wherever your water placement is, you have a water placement in your sixth house. Um, there's something that's calling to you there, okay? Or perhaps wherever your Virgo placement is, if you have a Virgo placement, something may be calling to you there, okay? I always say Virgo is the alchemist of the, the zodiacs. I really believe Virgos are the alchemists, like... They pay attention to every single detail. They're like, let's see. Yeah, because I feel like something, Um, you know what I'm also getting? Something is up in the air. What is this? Four of Pentacles. Okay. I feel like something is up in the air, Aquarius. 
And we may want to take a closer look to try to figure out the outcome, to try to decipher. Um, I don't know how things are going to turn out or even try to um, transmute the energy so that we get the outcome that we want, something like that. But it's not anything you can see on the surface. It's something going on. It's eluding. Okay. It's up in the air for you because you're up in the air. You're air. Yes. That's why Gabrielle is coming here to help you with this because it's eluding you. I don't know what that is. I feel like you're trying to take control of something. Okay, maybe, I don't know, your dreams, your goals, your desires, trying to make it happen faster, something like that. Or you're trying to see like, okay, if I pour my all into this, will it work for me? And it's like, you want the answer. You want to know, you wanna know, like, you want the answer. You want to be able to, you want to know ahead of time. Something is up in the air. But the thing is, you're going to have to trust. You're going to have to trust yourself, your instinct, your own intuition. You're going to have to trust the timing of things. You're going to have to trust whoever and whatever you believe in, you're going to have to trust that your prayers have been heard. It's like you're going to have to trust the water. Right. Six of swords in the boat. Okay. Because I don't believe anything comes up or spoke about um, by coincidence in tarot. No, no, no. Okay. You have everything that you need and require. You have to trust. You have to trust the spirit guide source is going to lead you out of choppy waters to the sun or out of confusion to clarity or, you know, out of out of one position into a better position. Okay. That you won't just float away and, you know. There's nothing to be afraid of with this um, waterfall. There's actually assistance here. Somebody more powerful than you who is going to teach you a um, an angel, a guardian, okay? Um, a high level ancestor, somebody who is high ranking. This angel here who, as I mentioned, leads to prosperity, new beginnings, and tells you how to speak, maybe even shares with you what affirmations to say, what songs to sing, what psalm to read, all of that, everything. What passage to, you know, walk. Whatever your inquiry. Here. Hmm, the five of swords? Well, that's you too, Aquarius. Like I said, I feel like something is up in the air. But if you notice, page of cups. If you notice this queen, I mean, this five of swords, I thought it was the queen of swords. Okay? The feminine energy is holding up the sword with her back turned. She's actually... Um, receiving truth, receiving clarity. She's turned her back, right? She's trusting that these people who uh, may have played mind games and manipulation disappointed her with the three swords. Two are under her arm here and one sword is up. That sword up means that I have clarity. I have a connection to source, right? With the sunny sky there. I also feel the energy here that somebody... Um, with this two of swords over here this talks about the indecision it talks about the crossroad it talks about all of that stuff but when you put it all together this is um a disappointment that we can get over 
It's not something that is, you know, lasting always. Maybe we're being asked to communicate and, um, you know, forgive or vice versa because there's something that we're supposed to be looking at the deeper meaning of things um the diff the deeper aspect of something like why we went through that but from a mature from a very much mature way is what i'm getting We may be being asked to um we may be being asked to put something behind us once and for all again heal because I'm looking at the numbers card here and it's a number six and a number three. Um that talks about the number nine. I feel like we're close to receiving some type of victory here closing something out, being strong, literally um, being able to cut something out. Isn't it funny? The number nine with the number three on the card, the number six, that's nine. And then if you add the two swords with this, you know, the two swords can talk about an injustice. It's Libra energy, but just the swords is on the ground. It's your air sign, cousins, right? I'm getting the energy that um, it's always been you versus you. No one else could have, no one else was supposed to uh, be able to stir you in any direction here, not with the power that you have. So again, with the sword up, there's something about communicating. You may have communicated with your angels or guides about a particular loss or disappointment. But like I mentioned, I feel the spirit is saying there's something about forgiveness here and allowing um, new friends to come in. There's also this energy here where, yeah, you may be meeting some new um, people and you're being asked to um, recognize people through their, their water. Not particularly surface bound stuff, but through the water. I also feel the energy here. The spirit said you're going to be healed, Aquarius. You may not have met these people as yet. So don't judge a book by its cover is what I'm getting. They could be older. They could be younger. It doesn't matter. Don't judge the book by its cover. So now we have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, so you've been doing the work. <laughs> it looks exhausting, definitely. Yeah, but look, Wheel of Fortune. Something is changing. A cycle is being left behind. This is faded energy. It's a part of your destiny, too, to be a healer. Some of you, you are, you have really worked hard um, when it comes to, you have really done a lot, okay, of healing. You have really done a lot of learning or there's something about your energy levels. You have done a lot. Yeah, this beaver looks like I've been working on the railroad. I've been working on. I feel like this beaver looks like they have done a lot of work, okay? In their own garden. There's also the energy here where somebody has been putting in a lot of work to build something up. There is going to be a turning point here very fortuitous as well i feel that the prophet is coming through to remind you of how powerful you are um some of you you're just exhausted 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 and 
Again, the physician is here. The prophet is here. Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles talks about a message. But you see how Peter Rabbit um, is going to put this coin right in his pocket. Okay? So there's something about learning here. You could find like this buried treasure also it's like don't it doesn't have to be buried it could be right at your feet there's this thing there's something here about don't overlook okay or don't judge a book by its cover or don't overlook something because it's it's writing your trail here this is what i see you're getting a second chance to have um, something tangible you could touch, see, and feel. Money. Or it could be something that leads to this prosperity here. Because we have judgment again. Okay, we have judgment here. Let's just see what the top card is. Yep. Queen of Pentacles. So again, there's an energy here that if you've been working and working... You know what else I'm getting out of this card here? I'm getting two songs at once. That's weird. I'm getting, um, if I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the morning. I'd hammer in the evening. All over this land. I'd hammer out danger. I'd hammer out Warning, I hammer out love between my brothers and my sisters all over this land. And then I'm also hearing he's got the whole world in his hands. There's some type of move that you're going to be making. Or there's some type of hurt that has been buried that's coming up. There's two things here. It's something about things coming up. For some of you, this is all of the things coming up. This is a time where spirit wants you to um, take a deep dive. And when I say deep dive, I don't mean you have to get overly emotional. But there is something splashing back to the past to bring you to the present, to move you forward to this beautiful abundance, especially when it comes to uh, business, romance, when it comes to healing, when it comes to eating right, when it comes to energy, when it comes to, you know, legacy and family and friends and those you choose as family and who you end up with, all of that. With the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles here. This is a perfect match. This is what they call the catch. Okay? This is the power couple. Alright? And it looks like um, Spirit is saying, instead of focusing on the past and what has happened in the past and how things have gone on or how things have gone down in the past where you feel... Like, like I said, this is like almost a trigger to some Aquariuses because it's like, oh, I'm going to protect myself. I must defend myself. I must not because this is a no answer. I must not um, get too close to folks with the double energy here and the six of cups. Mm -mm. I must not because these people don't see how that card fell. These people don't turn out the way I think that they will. Mm -mm. Nope. Okay. That's what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. Like false people coming towards you and you just know it. You got to protect. You know there's going to be opposition with these people. They, they, they always end up showing up like that. Um, yeah. And then we end up building this community of just being by ourselves here. 
Spirit God source is sending you strangers, friends, okay? People, all right? To show you something different, Aquarius, seriously. Look, here's the star, all right? And like this card here says, okay, what's this? Um, Five of Wands, but this Five of Wands is friendly banter. This is going back and forth with ideas and shit like that, okay, Aquarius? Is um, what I'm getting here. All right. There's also this energy here where you may be meeting people who are, I don't know, conspiracy theory people or, you know, people like that. OK, because I see you backing a cause here. This is what I see. Six of Wands. You're going to have new followers. You're going to be a new follower. Like there's this energy here where you're no longer going to just be. Um, doing things by yourself here, Aquarius. You're going to have new contracts with justice here, okay? There's going to be new people who come towards you and you're going to receive signs and synchronicities of who this new congregation is. It's like, a, I don't know, it's your family that you've been always wanting or it could be soulmates, friends, people who make you laugh, people who go through certain shit like you do or, you know what I mean? It's like, that's what I'm getting. It's like what you have been visualizing. These people are going to bring um, abundance into your life and vice versa. Okay. Because you're going to be able to lead the way here when it comes to healing, when it comes to believing, when it comes to trusting, when it comes to being able to look at things. Because you've always been able to look at things from a distance and have a different point of view. But um, how have you been expressing yourself? How have you been, you know what I mean? There's something like that coming through here, okay? And your guides want you to get excited. Knight of Wands. Don't be hasty, but definitely be excited about these partnerships. About the, the nuggets that you're going to find. About the information you're going to come across. Remember the book said, you don't know these people. If you haven't met them yet, you don't know who they are. You don't know who these angels will be. You don't know who God is placing into your life while you're just going along here, you know, working super hard. Okay. Planting these seeds, um, you know, working really hard, getting your garden together, you know, so that you can reap harvest and all of that. Okay. Pouring into what you've been doing. This is like somebody who's been doing a lot, but they're exhausted and they need a happy kind of change here. All right. It's like, it's a happy, a happy change is what I'm getting. Um, I also feel, okay, because these are not all, you know, children. There's some childlike energy here though, right? Where we learn to listen and know that, you know, we don't know everything. We're always learning. We're always growing. We're always elevating. And also to tap into the emotions, to forgive the past is what I'm getting. To look at something on a deeper level within you, Aquarius energy, and being able to leave it behind, okay? Knowing, trusting you're going to win. You're going to trust that you're moving from the five of swords into the six of swords, that you're going to be moved towards the sun, Everybody is not, um, you know, some people are teachable and some people you can learn from and everybody is not, you know, bad. Okay. That's, that's kind of what I'm getting. Okay. So you're going to build with some people. There's going to be a tribe here. Um, yeah. Okay. Everybody is not bad. Yep. I knew it. I knew, 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 knew it. Two of Cups. Mm -hmm. Did I say this um, that in the pre-shuffle, I got the Two of Roses, the Two of Cups, and the Five of Keys, which is the Wish Fulfillment. Okay, let me show it to you because I want you to see what it looked like. <laughs> okay, I'm telling you. I saw it. All right. In the pre-shuffle, I don't know where it is right now. But I saw it. Um, I, uh, that card too 
right on on the right track. I saw that too. Let's see. I know, I know, I'm taking a while. But I want to show you these cards. Spirit, angels, and ancestors. Let me see these cards for, for Aquarius, please. I feel like it's... Man, they won't show me these cards. So you know you know what I'm getting? Remember when I said there's something up in the air and you're trying to figure out the outcome before it happens, but you can't, you're gonna have to trust. You're gonna have to trust where you're being led, trust that you're being healed, trust that you can handle the water, trust that you can swim, just trust, 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 and time is on your side and all of that. And literally, spirit won't let me see the card to show it to you, but up in the air is here. Isn't that funny? All right. You're going to just have to trust that I saw what I saw. I'm telling you. The two of roses with the five of keys. The five of keys is wish fulfilled. And the two of roses is the two of cups. And now at the top of the deck, we have the two of cups. Okay? Contracts. People coming together. It's more than just you. Right? And it's the water. Okay? It is the water. There is water being poured in both cups. There's emotions here of love, soulmate, okay? Um, love. Steady income, organizing, accomplishments, art and design, home-oriented, self-employed, okay? I feel like that's about to, um, something is about to uh, be altered here. Um, meaning it's going to look different. You're still going to have steady income. You're still going to organize. You're still going to have these great accomplishments. You may be designing something differently. Okay. Adding color. All right. You may be self-employed, but I feel that there's something's going to look different. There's a picture that's being painted here. You're going to have to trust it. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm getting. Ornaments, extra money, mature investment, celebration, retail, beauty, finished work, and retirement. Okay, but the number three. Anchor. Ooh. Okay, so that wanted to um, cover up. It, it wanted to cross the ornaments with extra money, mature investment, celebration. Um, it says here that it's water related, travel, stable for now. Okay. Yeah. Because something needs to be, something needs to be unblocked. Okay. It does. It does. Something is up in the air. Let me pick it up. So the card, it was life purpose. Okay. So that might be why something looks different because we're going to be moving towards our true life purpose, and it could involve teaching, healing, um, teaching, healing, learning how to heal yourself, so and teaching others to heal. Okay, yeah, strategy, why spending, looking at the long game, military, leader thinking it through, and then it's time to profit. Divine timing is at play in your life. Seize the moment. There is a waiting period. Mm -hmm. This is what's happening in the background. It's like you have to trust. You have to trust. Whatever this is, you have to trust it. Okay? Um, I feel like Spirit God Source is going to give you more than just healing. It's going to give you what you've been wanting, but it looks different than what you may have imagined it. It looks different. Your job may look different. The people you interact with could look different. These, you know, th this thing may be being changed around, but it's being changed around for a reason. Again, Spirit wants you to get excited. 
the Archangel Gabriel is here bringing you new beginnings, prosperity, and clearer conversations about your needs, your wants, how to do it, and things like that. But it's it's coming in divine and perfect timing for you. Yes, there's a hermetic seal when it comes to this. Look at this. Worry-free treasures. Look at this. Gifts, okay? Being open to receive. Look at this. Being in a ring, a circle, okay? Or even in love, relationships, companionships, all right? Overflowing prosperity. Look at it. It goes on and on and on. Trust where you're being led. Until next time, please take care of yourself and be well.